it. So, uh, the part one and the part two of this video, I discussed the fundamental understanding, basic understanding of probability. I just want to solve a question here to, I know there's billions of questions, but I can't put all the questions in one video. I'm just going to solve this question to give an illustration to what I did earlier on. And this is the, uh, the question, a die with face numbered one to six is thrown twice, it's thrown twice. So the, we, are to talk, we are told to calculate the probability that the total score is 10. Uh, so this is one of the questions, is 10. Um, others prime, I, I, five and six, and it is less than five. So since the die was thrown twice, with sample space is going to be of this form. So our sample space is going to be of this form. So this is the first die, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the other one is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the first die, and this is the second uh, die. So it was thrown twice. If it's thrown only once, this becomes just my sample space. So um, the combination of this is that you can have this and this. You can have one and two, you can have one and three, one and four, one, five, one, six. Two, one. So this is the sample space. This is the sample space. So all the possibility of throwing, tossing this die twice this is what you have. It's possible for you to have three, and the second time you have two. It's possible for you to throw the first time you have four, but second time you have five. So now this is what we refer to as the sample space. Very important. And now what's the possibility of having a ten? Where and where do we have ten? Um, uh, this will give us a 10, so this is 10, this is 10, all oh, this will give us 10. This is where you have 10. This is 10, this is 10, and this is 10. Total score of 10. So you have 1, 2, 3. So the probability of having a 10, that is x for x equals to 10, this is a random variable. This will be equals to 1, 2, 3, that is the favorable outcome. Over the whole of this, if you count the whole of this, that will be 36. So this is simply 1 all over 12 as the answer. So that's the probability of picking a 10. The probability of having a, a prime, that's the two numbers primes. Um, you know what the prime number is? You know what the prime number is? Numbers that can only be divisible by themselves and 1. That's a prime number. So you see, um, actually they start from 2. So we have this as a prime number. Does the two numbers must be prime if you say prime? So the two numbers um, are must be uh, prime. Please, these questions are independent of this total score. So uh, prime, you have this as a prime. You have this. Let's take it carefully. You have this two and three and three and two. Um, still the same thing. These and these are the same. You come here, let's go down this way, you have this. You come here this way and um, we go up, you have a prime here. We go up this way, we have another one here. We go up, this is one and six, two and six, three and five. We we'll go up this way, this is four and three. Um, we don't even come here at all because there are no primes here. So we have this again. Um, and. Um, I think that is all we are for now. I think I'm not missing anything out. So um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the possibilities of we having eight over 36, which is one all over um, just that. Uh, that will be um, two over nine. So we have two over nine. Two over nine. So that's a possibility of picking two numbers that are primes. And finally, we have, oh, not finally, that this was um, the one that came with the question. This is I, this is I, I, and the I, I, probability of picking five and six. That one is very clear here. Where are you? Five and six, this is five and six. Just one. Five and six, twice. Five and six, so that will be picking five and six, and that will be the same thing as two over 36, which is equal to 1 over um, 18, 1 over 18. And finally, now picking numbers less, which the sum, 
some that is some less than five some less than uh, five so you have this is going to give us two it's going to give us two so we have this is where you start having five this is where you start having five so we're talking about all this upper triangular here so one two three four five six one two three four five six so uh probability of having less than five will be equals to uh one two three four five six that will be six over 36 and that is one over six and that is the answer for that so this is just an example of the application of the uh, theorems i was discussing in the beginning i am still going to bring advanced areas of probability where i discuss random variables uh, in my next video but for now thank you and please share the video and also subscribe thank you